Hi, Emily. Uh, thanks for sending us in your math question. Um, I've written each of them out here. This guy here is our is an exponential function, and there's two things happening here. There's actually two shifts. This right here is an x shift, and then uh, I always tell my students the x is lie. So that's going to shift the graph left one. Okay, and then here we have a negative two, so that's going to shift the graph down two. Okay, so let's look at a uh, number line here. Um, so the normal exponential function looks like this, and it goes through the point zero one, which is right here. Okay, we'll call this uh, just for argument's sake. We'll call this four to the x. Okay. Um, this goes on forever here, and then there's an asymptote there, and that asymptote is y equals zero, originally. Now this graph goes left one, so this point, I'm going to take this point, and it's going to go left one, and then it's going to go down two, so now it's going to become here. Okay, so the asymptote's now going to be here. Okay, and then your graph's going to look something like this here. Okay. So now your new asymptote is this line right here, which is, uh, this is y equals negative 2. Okay. So there is your asymptote for this graph. And then the domain, see how it goes on forever, left and right here really, right and up. So this graph goes on forever in both directions. So that means you can plug in any x value you want. So the domain is going to be negative infinity to infinity. So all, all real numbers. Okay, the range is a different story. The range is the possible y values. So see how like you can't have any y values down here for this graph. So it starts off at negative 2, and then all these y values work here. So all these y values up until infinity, because this will go up into the right forever. So then it starts off at negative 2, and it's going to be a parentheses, because it does not include negative 2. This graph right here never hits negative 2. It goes on forever. Kind of draw here goes on forever but does not touch negative two so it goes negative two to infinity okay all right so that's that graph and then we'll go over here this one i'm going to rewrite it i'm going to rewrite it negative log five x minus two and then i'm going to write um, plus one on the outside so there's a few things happening here um we have a uh, shift right two and then we have a reflection, this negative here. So the first thing is we're going to shift, uh, well, actually, it's just right, right to. That's the main thing. So shift right to. Okay, and that's due to this guy. This is an X shift. And then you have to do this one right after here, this negative. Because if, if you follow PEMDAS, you'd have to do this first, and then you'd have to take the negative of this quantity. So that negative out front there, the log, reflects it over the Y, or sorry, over the X axis. So reflect, and I'll write x-axis. Okay. So that's what this negative does here. And then finally, we have the positive 1. So that just shifts it, the graph, up 1. Okay. All right, so let's uh, take a look at our graph here. Um, okay, normally the log graph, just so we know, looks something like this here kind of like the exponential graph and you have an asymptote at here this line right here is x equals zero okay that's the original graph we'll say for argument's sake that's the log base five of x okay so let's kind of go through the shifts here uh, we're going to go right to so this point is going to become over here um, so i'll kind of draw it just real uh Fine there, and then we're going to go shift. We're going to reflect it over the axis, the x-axis. So we're going to reflect it this way, and it goes like this here. Okay. And lastly, we're going to shift it up one. So this point goes right there, and then so our final graph. Maybe I'll draw it in a different color so it's easier to see. I'll draw it in red. Um, so it's going to go this here there we go and then we're gonna have an asymptote I'll draw our asymptote in uh, 
in the purple. So it's this line right here. Notice it's actually the X shift. Since it shifted right to, that is our asymptote. Okay, so I'll write that here, x equals 2. So that is the vertical asymptote. So notice for the log graph, the x shift, the right 2, was the new vertical asymptote. For the exponential graph, the y shift, in this case down 2, that was the new um, horizontal asymptote. Okay, and then uh, I'll continue here, domain, and then we'll do the range. So the domain's all the x values. So here we have a limitation on our x values. It can only be, see I can't plug in any of these x values to the left here. The first x value I can plug in is pretty much 2, but it's not going to include 2, so I put parentheses. And it goes on forever to the right here. So it'll be 2, 2 infinity. Okay, and then the range, the range can be, uh, see how this goes on forever, so it goes from positive infinity all the way, and this goes down to the right forever, so negative infinity. So the range can be any number, all real numbers, so negative infinity to infinity. All right, uh, thanks for sending us in your questions, Emily. Um, I hope this uh, made sense. Have a good night.